Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, that's so creepy. He sleeps with his eye open. Rob. Rob, wake up. I'm making pancakes. What? Pancakes? When? As soon as you get your ass out of bed. Come on, Troy. What is this? You're not home. Oh, that's right. Come on, dude. Yep, that's me at 320 pounds. Man, I was living large. Go ahead, you could say it. I was a real fat bastard. But then I got multiple sclerosis. And everything had to change. So I changed it. What else was I gonna do? I'm Rob Brazius, and this is my life. All right, Kelly, you dragged my ass out of bed with the promise of pancakes. What do you got for us today? All right, these are oat griddle cakes. These are from the Thug Kitchen cookbook, the original, not the second one. Um, and it's kind of like a combo oatmeal slash pancake, but they're definitely sweeter and more hearty, so they're definitely going to fill you up. I remember the first time you mentioned the Thug Kitchen cookbook or whatever. I thought it was like, you know, recipes that looters use after they go on a night of looting and rioting. No, no. That would be cool if someone, did, seriously, YouTube, someone come up with that because that would make people laugh their asses off. <laughs> okay, you keep dreaming. That's all I have in my dreams. All right, so let's get started. Okay. It's a two-parter. So this is considered the wet ingredients. Mm. It's a um, cup and a half of rolled oats, not the quick oats, the rolled oats. It's not very wet. Oh, no, it's going to get wet though. Uh, <laughs> two tables... Two tablespoons of ground flax, so flax meal, two tablespoons. That's the egg. Okay. And a cup and a half of uh, plant milk. This is almond cashew. Okay. Wouldn't that be nut milk? It's nut milk. It's but You it's, were I avoiding like say. saying that. I know, because I didn't know what you were going to say. You so. know exactly what I'm going to say. Anyway, just get this incorporated. See, so yeah, that's kind of like oatmeal. And uh, this will sit 10 minutes. Okay. And then we can add the dry ingredients. Now, what, what happens in 10 minutes? Um, in 10 minutes, the oats are going to suck up some of the plant milk. Um, you know, just get, get uh, bigger. So the oats are going to suck up the nut milk and get bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You should make it fun. Meanwhile, back at the bat... No, no, that's a copyright infringement. Anyway, so 10 minutes have passed and our oats have sucked up all of the nut juice that they possibly could and they've gotten bigger because these oats look like they're really really happy to see us right now so kelly now that we have our swollen oats what are we going to do with them all right <laughs> Ooh, okay i know it's frustrating <laughs> yeah, I, yeah but i'm fun all right a half a cup of oat flour basically this is rolled oats blitzed into a powder in a blender okay that's it so that goes in um tablespoon of sugar this is coconut palm sugar you can use any kind of sugar granulated okay. sugar uh tablespoon uh, teaspoon wait and that's half. sugar yeah it looks that like color sugar yeah it's it's natural sugar it's not like the processed white sugar so um a teaspoon and a half of baking powder uh half a teaspoon of cinnamon boy you'd be really really hurting if you mix up the cinnamon and the sugar yeah. they look identical yeah and uh half a teaspoon of salt and this. and that's the same coarse whatever kosher salt yeah, that you regular use regular kosher salt gotcha um i like this because it's sweeter than a regular oatmeal you know right. with the added sugar and the cinnamon and this just gets mixed into the oats and it makes a batter it just basically makes oatmeal that we're going to flatten out in the griddle all right hang on a sec you got me out of bed because you promised me pancakes that doesn't look like a pancake batter I'm familiar with. Are we going to do anything with those oats or anything? No, they're, they're going to go in the frying pan and I'm going to flatten them out and they're going to make like four inch wide pancakes. Oat cakes. Wait, are you, are you saying these are griddle cakes? These are oat griddle cakes. I'm sorry. I like those them. aren't pancakes. All right, we'll go oh, to, what the? F seriously? Go to the diner then. I can't go to the diner because they use butter and milk on everything. All right, well, too 
bad. An enlightened this son's is healthy. You need this. And this is nice and filling and it's high in fiber and there's no eggs and there's no oil. So, so it's basically a, you're frying a bowl of oatmeal. Yeah, you're going to shut up and like it. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, Christ. so let's go to the frying pan now. You, I'm going back to bed. All right, so this is um, a big skillet with a little bit of olive oil spray and it's on, keep it on medium. These are... How uh, big is that skillet? I don't know, 16 inches maybe? It's got to be like a world record. And we're going to take, this recipe, the, the book says 8 to 10 pancakes, but I make 6 because I, I like them a little larger. They're not pancakes. Whatever. Just, this can get a little dicey because they, you know, they're, they're thicker, so they, they're going to take a while to cook through so you can flip them. Flip what? Flip the oat cakes. Oh, griddle cake, good, thank you. Stop calling them pancakes. It's just, it's a smack in the face to pancake lovers everywhere. I being one of them who could have been still asleep right now. They don't have to be perfect. This one, wow, that one's kind of big. I don't know if we're gonna get <laughs> six out of this recipe now because I made that one too big. Um, all right, so this, this is gonna take like four to five minutes on each side and they're soft. So when you flip them, you have to be really careful. If you wanna make them smaller, they're easier to flip. You know, I, I, I like a challenge. So uh, we're gonna let this go and we'll come back when they're ready to flip. You do know that this is being recorded so we could just like throw that in the garbage and try something else no one would ever know. Listen, you don't have to eat these. I'm gonna eat these for dinner. No, I'm just... <sighs> anyway, I guess we'll come back. All right, seriously, uh, those don't look even close to being cooked. So why the hell did you drag me back in here? All right. What's that? I owe this to you at least. These are non-dairy chocolate chips and they're going to go in the oat cakes. For you, this batch is for you. Wait, non, non-dairy non chocolate chips? Yep, they sell them in all the grocery stores now. They do not have any dairy and they taste exactly like the Toll House cookie chocolate chips you grew up with. And... Okay, so now this oh isn't a healthy God. breakfast anymore, but it's a breakfast you can give to your kid. So you, you got the chocolate chips for me? Well, I got them for a banana cake that we're going to do, but yeah, <laughs> I remember that. We're I doing the banana I'm not going to say anything else. I, I love you. You're amazing. That's right. I know how to take care of you. Yes, you, seriously. Let it never be said that Kelly Barrett does not know how to take care of her man. Okay. She is awesome at it. All right, yep, thanks. All right, now let's just get you getting this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this seems like it's ready to flip. Okay. See, not bad. It could have went a little longer. It's it's not burned. It's not burned at all. Um, you just have to make sure because of the thickness that the oats get cooked. When my nanny used to make us pancakes, they used to be burned. She goes, "No, Robert, they're well done. No, they're not well done, Nan. They're burnt." You know what? This is the easiest I've ever had flipping these. Usually it's like they break and I have to kind of push them together. And, and that, you know, that's pretty easy. If they do break, you can just kind of smush them back together. That's because the magic of television is on your side today. Yeah, I know. I really needed the magic of television the last two times because I made a mess. <laughs> now, do we still have extra chocolate chips? Yes, we're going to plate it with chocolate chips and syrup for, for you. Just, and then I'm going to eat mine with a berry sauce. Blueberries. Oh, so now how, how do you make a, a berry sauce? Because like, um, people know. are probably confused. It's not really a sauce. It's just frozen berries that I put in a pot and heat them up. And you, it makes them, because they're frozen, they have that nice juice that comes out of them. Again, with the not really. It's not really a pancake. It's not really a It's It's just thawed out, heated up, frozen I'm going to let it slide because you got me chocolate chips. All right, so we're done here. These are going to cook. And we're going to plate, and we'll, well, first we're going to make a few more, but we don't have to do that. You've seen it done. Wait, so we're going to sit down and have breakfast now? Yeah, when the next batch is done. Ooh, let me go use the bathroom then. All right, cool. We're done. All right, so now that I'm really, really hungry and I got dragged out of bed for pancakes and they turned out to be griddle cakes, Let's give these things a shot. If you want to come in here a little closer and just check them out real quick. We have the old griddle cake and my woman surprised me with beautiful little dairy free chocolate chips because dairy is bad. Alright, so let me taste this and 
see if this is worth getting up for. I'm told it was, but I'm told lots of things. Oh, wow. All right, you know what? I'm a dick. I made a big deal about this, and these are actually really delicious. They taste like a soft granola bar dipped in syrup. It's actually really awesome. You know, like the, I'm not going to say the name brands, but the granola bars have little chocolate chips on them. They got the little Quaker guy that used to hang witches on the front of it. That kind of thing. This is really, really delicious. So honestly, if you're looking for a really healthy solution for breakfast, you really can't go wrong with this. Just when you wake up your loved one, let them know it's not a pancake. See you guys next time.